This lesson is on the elements of poetry. Poetry can tell a story, describe a situation, or appeal to the senses. Most poems have a structure to them. This structure is found in the way that an author breaks the lines in a poem or the way an author groups lines in a poem. When an author groups the lines in a poem, the group is called a stanza. In addition to a poem having structure, authors will also use literary devices to bring their poems to life. The first one we usually think of when we think of poetry, which is rhyming words. Words such as cat, hat, sat, they have the same ending sounds. Poems may also have a rhythm to them. Think of this like a drum beat or a song as you're reading through the poem. Another literary device that an author may use is imagery. That's where they use your five senses to help bring their poem to life. They may also use alliteration. This is where the beginning sound of many of the words in the poem is the same. For example, a tiger named Tim trudged to the top of the terrain. Or they can use assonance. This is when the middle sound of the words sound the same. For example, the cat ran past the man. You can hear the short A, A ah, sound in most of the words of the poem. The author may also use another sound device called onomatopoeia. That's when the name of the word is the same as the sound that it would make. For example, buzz, thump, swoosh, drip, or glop. The last literary device we're going to talk about is repetition. This is when the author will repeat lines or words to stress their importance in the poem. As you read your next poem, look for these different elements of poetry to help you understand it and see what the author is trying to teach you.